Technician accidentally fires Vulcan cannon and obliterates F-16 sitting in the runway. That is an oof of the oofiest degree. How do you manage that? That is several million dollars sitting there in literal flames. <laughs> Just that, that little button looks very tempting. What, what's the worst that could happen? Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calvis. My name is Luma. With me today is Zen. Hello. And today we are looking at a brand new subreddit, r slash. That looked expensive. A subreddit dedicated to things and the several figures getting absolutely demolished. It's all for that pile of money burning into the sky that we all love to see. About the message that said. Let's just get right into it. Souvenir photo before we get fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, no, straight up, I would do this as well because if you manage to flip something like that, you ain't gonna be able to flip back that back over, are you? So make the most of it. Take a photo. How did they flip a car with the same aerodynamics as a Minecraft block? How did you manage that? This thing looks not just top heavy, but all heavy and should be pretty balanced. How did you do this? They had to have rode up a ramp <laughs> or they got hit by a green shell. They were doing tricks in the dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> Residential homes built in South Dakota over undisclosed abandoned gypsum mime. Sinkhole renders entire neighborhood's property values now worthless. This, this has to be like a legal thing that they can bring up because if it was undisclosed, then surely they can like bring it back to whoever sold the housing and the land. I mean, maybe, but at the same time, uh, I, I'm, I feel because I know a lot of people, their houses are investments that they sell to live in retirement homes when they're too old. At the same time, this probably screwed over an HOA and that brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> if you run an HOA, please reconsider your life choices. I mean, they could just fill that in with some water and turn it into a pool. They could. You know what else they could do? They could subscribe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Become Calvis Residential Homes built on Calvis. For every one subscribe, you get a single inch squared in my house. Not legal ownership, but you do. One like equals one Calvis. Supercar storage in Cheshire burned down. I'm not sure they were that super if they couldn't withstand a little bit of flames. Uh, it's super in name. The ones that survived, they are the strong. Those are the supercars. And those are the ones that we put into the breeding program. <laughs> the Ferrari will breed again. <laughs> you know, they say it's a Mustang, but I find it to be quite the stallion. Oh, 80 plus miles per hour winds in Iowa today. That is Oddly beautiful, though. Isn't it that from that one guy who made that like disgusting looking library that's like awful? I have no point of reference for what you are talking about right now. Hold on. Hold on. I got to find it. I got to find it. Weird library. I, I know it exists. That's the bean. I don't want the bean. There's like this building that looks like someone took a piece of paper and crumpled it up. And then that was just the building and they turned it into a library and it was awful. What? Wait, no, this is this, this. Ah, yes, modern architecture, lovely. It's awful, it's the worst. And it reminds me of this. They have the same exterior. Do you know what that the the other one makes me think of? What? Is just, I think they're making buildings like this because they know that there are titans out there and they just don't want the titans to step on the buildings. Have you seen the Death Ray building? What the f- No, I clear- What? Yeah, so long and short, it was a giant curved building that looked straight out of Toontown, but because of the curvature and the reflection, it basically <gasps> made a giant <laughs> mirror that burned cars. Oh my god, that's Here's the mirrors amazing. melting from the heat of the Death Ray building. <laughs> Where was this? London. Oh, yeah, that, that tracks. <laughs> I had a house fire last night. Unfortunately, my game room with 30 systems and over 2,000 games did not survive. It's all gone. I have nothing. I'm not asking for anything. Just press F to say goodbye. Oh, that hurts. It always sucks to see a YouTuber go through a house fire. I feel for Scott the Walls. Oh, this, this really does hurt. Wait. Oh. <laughs> I thought this one actually was Scott. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where did you see that? Hold on. Nah, nah, I just, this does suck. I would be devastated if I lost my Dreamcast to a fire. Hmm. But apparently if you catalog it, you can get insurance. 
hopefully they did have insurance. Or at least a previous save point. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, rattlesnake bite in the US. Now how much? For the pharmacy is 83k. Laboratory services 22k. Uh, intermediate care room is 21. Intensive care is 17. Emergency care services 5. Oh my god. Total charges 153,000. Wow. Yeah. That's obscene. That is actually obscene. Apparently, 50 vials of the antivenom costs 80k, according to this hospital. That's an expensive snake. Yeah, I think I would rather just die at this point. <laughs> special services, $462. What are those special services? Apple juice and cup. A 1 million pound Lamborghini based Batmobile got into an accident with a Renault Scenic. <laughs> Oh, Batman got taken down by the little car that goes to the shops. I love that the top comment is doing the Jingle Bells Batman Smells song because the Batmobile lost a wheel and the Joker got away. Because where's the other car? <laughs> I'm just saying, look, the, the inexpensive or the less expensive cars, they do tend to be a bit more sturdy. So I'm just saying, if Batman was riding around in a Renault Cynic, he'd be doing a lot better. Probably would be. Batman and Prius. Things got a little out of hand when cooking breakfast yesterday. Explain. What? Were you having camper for breakfast? Were you having RV for camper? Campus. Oh, okay. My brain auto corrected this to just being a school bus for some reason. No, this is a <laughs> camper van. Right, that makes way more <laughs> sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just imagining some kid like pouring his cereal into a bowl on the bus and like that one Simpsons skit, it just catches on fire. <laughs> and like the rest is just, it's just all up in flames from there. Like some kid having to put water into their cereal bowl and someone just has a big lump of potassium for some reason. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, look at this cool rock I found. Wow! You kids keep it down back there. A lot of fire in this episode. Semi-trailer opens up on hill and dumps two to four inch steel balls all over the place. This is oh. my favorite JoJo arc. <laughs> oh, steel ball run. I got you. Uh, this... I, <laughs> I love the noise. I, I the noise. Now, if they I... were to start driving along, do you think the car would slip and fall over? Yes. I I don't know why I want to take a beating from this, but it's so innately fascinating that my ape brain wants to get out and contest the new force of nature, the steel ball what run. What the heck? <laughs> why is there a second wave of them? There's like a resurgence of them. <laughs> So many. Why? Why were none of these secured in anything? I want to know how they broke out. Actually, I want to know what they were being used for. The SS Princess May was a steamship built in 1888. The ship is best known for grounding in 1910, which left the ship sticking completely out of the water. This is one of the most famous shipwreck photographs. How do you screw up that bad? The rock is like out there. If they were going that fast, like to be up there, they had to be going somewhat of a speed or they got grounded and then the water came down. Actually, that's probably what it was. I, I don't know though. Like, I guess maybe, but at the same time, like this is some next level tomfoolery. Like it takes skill to screw up about this bad. True, but now they get to play with a very expensive seesaw. That's true, that's true. And we wouldn't be able to repeat it until the Costa Concordia many years later. 50,000 liters of wine spill up bodegas vivitos in Spain. Me, when paper cut. That's just a nosebleed. Me, taking a pee after drinking the McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> My kidneys after slurping down the entirety of the airport jungle juice. Me, when curry. <laughs> me, <laughs> me, when Chipotle. <laughs> Just me. What the hell is airport jungle juice? No. No. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> oh, I prefer my airport jungle juice without pulp, please. <laughs> Don't forget to tip your server. That, oh, that hurts. That hurts. This feels like a deleted scene from a Linus Tech Tips video. <laughs> I, this is something I can I can just see Linus doing. <laughs> I'm amazed he can put on his sandals without dropping them. Pipes burst underneath a basketball court. Not nah, this is sick. It's probably not safe, but like 
let me take out those little gym scooters on the brand new quart sized waterbed. Oh God, the way, no, okay, now, now you put it like that, I'm all for that. But what if you were to put like rubber or trampolines under the, a full sized basketball trampoline court? Fun fact, back when I used to do gymnastics, we roughly did routines on stuff like that. Yeah, but think about actual proper basketball games with trampolines. Think of how crazy NBA Jam come to life. You know what? It would be time to jam then. It would be time to slam. Owners are demoing their brand new house and starting over because they didn't like it. I'll take it. Tell me you have too much money without saying it directly to my face. That is wild. Actually, I think that's down in Devon. I think that's south of England. I hate Devon. Uh, uh, I love the top comment. It's a shame that there's no planning phase for buildings, where you can make changes and alter things before you even break the ground. <laughs> I hate idiots with too much money. You know what I really hate? Those HGTV shows where it's just like, well, he folds napkins for a living and I have two subscribers at OnlyFans. Our budget is 18 million and we'd like to buy a house today. Yeah, they never do seem to find one. Yeah, maybe it's because they're working on a budget that is their parents. I made it successful in life by nothing but a minimum wage job and a little loan for my parents of five million. <laughs> Not as expensive as some of the stuff we see here, but the angle of the photo is great. I don't know, I think this is recoverable. If you just like drive down this little alleyway, you're gonna lose a couple of doors, but you could probably get the car back. Yeah, there's gonna be an off ramp somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And like, it might be an off ramp to the ocean, but at the the very least then you're not polluting the uh the, the waterway down just over inflate your tires you'll flow it's fine speaking of over inflating in a non-kink way the slide opened inside the aircraft how <laughs> thankfully nobody was in there because that would crush them like that's actually <laughs> lethal but i i love the like the original post's title in my defense the flight attendant said <laughs> to familiarize myself with all safety features <laughs> They do, they do say that. So it's so good. It's, it's not necessarily on the dude. Yeah, no, he's just doing what he was told. Good job, camera operator. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, and on on a freaking cam oh! card gimbal. Oh! Oh God! Oh no! How how did you screw that up? How did you not practice first? <laughs> that is at minimum. An $80,000 mistake. Oh. oh, and if that's a red camera and like it busted up the hard drive too, add a couple thousand more onto that. That is just painful. I put that on the list. I was like, oh, this is going to hurt. It hurt way more than I thought it would. Oh my God. The replacement value is 650,000. Ah, roughly 600 plates broken. Oh, you can just uh, wipe them off, buff it out. You know what? Put a little bit of like metallics in there to hold them together and you got yourself a brand new restaurant aesthetic. Unfortunately, your galley kitchen will forever be a hazard because there's going to be broken ceramic everywhere, which will just shatter your bones on contact. The ceramic's known to do. F funny family man part of, side apart. How did this happen? Like that's the entirety of a kitchen just fallen into one alleyway. Earthquake. What? Oh. Yeah, like if I had to guess, I'm going to say earthquake or the cabinets failed. Or a very disgruntled employee. Uh, I'm not sure. This seems like it seems like they'd be losing their runway as they went. The dishes are still stacked. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share this with a friend who could use a reminder that we're back, baby. We're still going. If you want to see some more r slash that looks expensive, then let us know down below. This is the first time covering it. If you liked it, let us know and we'll do more. But on that note, we have been your hosts, Lumo and Zen, and we hope to see you in the very next Cowboys video. Have a great rest of your day.